So that's simple. We'll, we'll create a container. So we're going to create a container. Just like we did here, I will simply create a container and delete everything inside. So we have an empty container that gives space with margin. And then uh, we have to create a row div class row. Now we have a row. We can now start having columns inside. So we can do call. So we just need two columns. Yep. We need two columns. And then we need to have something inside. What we're looking for inside is basically this. Become an instructor with H. I think H1 tag or H2 tag. H2. Become an instructor. So let's see what it looks like. And then this one says teach what you love. I'll call this lead p tag class lead. Let's see if it makes sense. Teach what you love. We can refresh and see whether it makes sense. That's become an instructor. It's too bold. Teach what you love. Teach what you love. Okay. So the first thing, what you have to observe is that this is all in the center. All right. So finally below it, there is a button. There is a button or let's say a link, a href. It's clickable. Um, but then at the same time, it's a button class, btn. BTN large, it's a large button, BTN uh, danger, that is, it is red, and um, that's it. And then it says start teaching, start teaching. All right, then uh, we need to make sure that it's all in the middle, but first of all, let's check it out, refresh, or well, make sense, but it's not in the middle, we need to make sure that it's all in the middle, so to do that, We'll come here and say text center. That's the parent column. So it's going to make it uh, everything. Better. See, it now makes sense. So another thing we're observing is like is the text is too big. It's like it's too big. The, the two texts. So uh, we're going to reduce this to uh, H4. Let us see how big H4 will be. Then we'll reload. Okay, H4 is coming closer to what we want. Why not if we do a display 4? Let's see if that will make sense. Display 4. It's too big. Sorry, we can't use display. All right, Um, the next one we're going to do is it's like the lead is too big. So we can do a style. Font size. What could be the font size? I think 15 pixels is okay. Let's go check. Oh yeah. Teach what you have. Teach what you love. Teach what you love. And then it gives you. Okay, now we need to shorten this. It's, a, it's like it's inside something. So there's a column. Look at there's a column. And then there is a row. There's a column this way. We need to have another div that will be shorter. Let's do a div. That div will be shorter. So we can give that div class call. Um, four, you know. Um, let's say call eight. Oh, makes sense now. All right. Uh, we might need to have it in the middle. We may just need to have it in the middle. 
because as you can see it's sliding towards the left part um, if I'm correct not really I think it's positioned fairly okay we just need to offset it so we do an offset call we do an offset 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 one oops I refreshed the wrong okay makes sense comes toward the middle now all right one thing you have to observe is that this is like this guy is too close but this one is too is lower so we can we can do a margin bottom of this MB and do um, 5 that is margin bottom on the one above it and uh, we can just refresh oops why, why, why didn't it work margin bottom so we can manually push it down if that did not work I've removed it uh, which I'm surprised why it didn't work we can do something like style margin top uh, 20 pixels so let's see what that does um, 20 is more let's do 100 um, surprise why is it not moving okay yeah the margin is confusing it okay so this makes sense um, I'm comparing the distance I think it needs to go down a little more just a little more 120 oh, perfect now we have to duplicate this to add the second one so we simply duplicate it um, I'm going to delete that second one since it's empty then I'll duplicate it I'll copy the, the call and put here. If I refresh, they are now two. So we have to write what is here, which says Udemy for business, get unlimited, whatever, get Udemy for business. All right. So the bottom, the button says get Udemy for business. This one says. Udemy for business. So that's it, guys. Um, one more thing, just one more thing is if you look here very closely on this platform, you see that there is a line here, but we've not added it. So it's just border right. If we come to this um, bootstrap and type border and we go to utilities, we'll see that we can specify borders. Look at as border right if you specify border right the div the element will contain a right border so let's do border right on one of the elements the first element you see this is the first um, call if we do border right on it it will have that line or we can come to the second call and do border left to add that line so this is the first call we can do border right that's it Eureka. So, see you in the next video.